Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gherkin Beans Unboxing and Reviews. Car mounts, cell phone holders for the car. Today we've got a product from InLife, it's the mobile phone holder. This one is unique because it goes in your CD player. Now this is going to be the first time I'm opening this device. I've never installed it in my car. I'm kind of scared because your phone is a valuable piece of equipment, especially if I'm driving my Evo hard, taking t turns too fast, your phone can go flying. This is a magnet clip. Uh, the picture is wrong. It shows a clip like a claw, but it's actually magnet. So let's jump right in and get this baby opened. The racer car mount, that's what it says in the box. Pretty cheap box, not much to it. Oh, another thing in there, no directions. I believe they're on the back of the side. Uh, easy one touch features. This is all we have as far as reading materials. Universal car mounts fit for most mobile phones, PDA, MP4. Easy one touch mounting system. No any tools required. Little typo on that. Uh, with quick release button and 360 degree rotation support hold with an E. Fully adjustable with 360 degree rotation for quick portrait and landscape view. That's pretty cool. Let's pull my phone out. I've got the iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, I do have a skin on it. Minimalistic packaging, we'll just call it that. Get that out of here. Here's the magnet. But this is the unique piece. This goes in your CD disc drive. And it's got this screw mechanism that must tighten it somehow. I'll have to figure that out when we get in there. But let's apply the magnet to the back of my phone. Um, like I said, I've got the skin, so I'm not really worried about the residue, if it has any. I, I'm not sure what they use for the sticky part. Uh, it just looks like a piece of 3M double-sided stickiness. I'm going to use, I should probably use the long one because I have the bigger phone. But I don't like this look. I've got a carbon fiber skin. Actually, you know what? This piece doesn't even have any double-sided tape on it. It's wonder if that's how it should be. <laughs> See, this one has the double-sided tape. This one does not. Hmm. Let's apply the circle to my phone. Peel it. I peel it away. I'm not sure the reason for the little keyhole either. All right. Now that the center dot is placed, it should stick to our magnet. Hmm. Well, that works. This thing is just like a tripod mount. If you guys are video people or photography, loosen it up, pops right on, and you can tighten it down, and that'll allow you to swivel it in whatever position you want. But let's hop in the Evo uh, and plug it into the CD player. I have the Chrysler Town & Country next to us. That one isn't going to work. We've got the fancy big screen center console radio that when you put in a CD, the screen has to go down. So you won't be able to use something like this in the fancier radio systems where the CD player is actually behind the screen of the radio. But my Evo's got a standard radio, so let's jump in there and test it out. All right, guys, first I'm gonna make sure I've got no CD in the CD player itself. Nothing? All right, we're good. Got my CD mount holder. We're gonna try this out. Just goes in. And then you screw this. This is getting really tight to turn. Oh wow, look at that. It's sitting in there. It's really f kind of flimsy though. I can go any tighter. Ah, it still has some flex to it. Here's my swivel mount. I still have all access to the buttons. I can't really see what radio station's playing from the driver's seat. But that's not really a big deal. I don't really listen to the radio when I'm driving this car. It's a race car, so I listen to the exhaust. 
But let's test out if it holds the phone. There you go. Got an email from Google. We gotta lock down the swivel nut wherever the position I wanna put it in. The real test will be when driving. I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod so you can get it like a bird's eye view or my point of view, what I'm seeing. So this is what I see while driving. It's a good distance away. It's actually perfect. I can see it. I know it's overexposed because the light outside the garage, but I can see where I need to be. And I don't know, I think the only thing left to do is to uh, go out for a drive, see if it goes anywhere. It's it's not that, uh, it's, it's a strong magnet if you're trying to pull it off just straight off, but if you flip one side off, it comes right off. And it can supposedly stay like that too. It actually feels a lot more secure in landscape mode. I don't know, I, I really like the look of this. I can still see my clock from where I'm sitting. This is my eye level. I can see the clock, I can see my map, I can see my whole dashboard, and I really can't see the device that's inside my CD player. I can push the power button on, change it, change the radio, still see my map. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of liking this. Let's go for a drive and see if it actually stays in place. All right, I've got my phone in place. We're gonna hit that map. Just to give you something to look at. I like landscape mode. We're gonna test that first. Safety first. I hope you guys can see. You're just sitting back there on a tripod. I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. Hopefully the camera doesn't tip over. I'm not gonna drive extremely hard. All right. Phone seems pretty sturdy. There's a little bit of shake, but it's nothing that I can't deal with. Let's hit one of these bumps and see how it does. Eh, it wobbles. It definitely wobbles. Nothing I can do about that. The phone's staying in landscape mode. Uh, let's put it back into portrait mode and see if it stays upright. So far, so good. I mean, I don't know if I would erase the car with it like that. But right now, I, I really enjoy the position. Like I said, I have access to all my controls. Um, it's not hard to press any of the radio buttons. With it in portrait mode, I guess it is. I have to go underneath of it, but it's not too bad otherwise. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. It's kind of an eyesore with no phone attached to the CD holder, but when the phone's there, I mean, it's pretty impressive looking. It, it looks very professional. It's better than if the phone was being held up by the vent up here. I'm gonna have to get one of those as well and test it for you guys because this is something I've never seen before with the phone in the CD slot, so I'm, I'm very happy with it. Whoop, you guys are gonna tip over. It's very readable. I can see the entire screen. This is the 6S Plus, so it's the bigger screen. I can see a smaller phone being a little more difficult to read, but it wouldn't stop me from buying this. This is a, a great phone holder and I'm actually really happy with it. I'm a big guy too, and if you know what kind of car I'm in, I'm in a Lancer Evolution. It's, it's a pretty small car, so when the phone is in my pocket, I can't get to it when I'm seated in the car. I have to open the door, stick my leg out, then get to my phone. So this is like the perfect alternative to have my phone out when I get in the car. I just stick it right there, and we're on the road. So I'm back home in the garage, and I couldn't be more pleased, like I said, with this phone mount holder. Uh, in life, and smartphones, I'll put a link to the description below where you can buy this item. Uh, two thumbs up from Gherkin Beans. It's a great product. Had my doubts at first. Packaging is very minimalistic and it looks like a very cheap product. Uh, I can update the review after a couple, uh, uh, six months maybe. See how it's doing if it broke because it, 
it's pretty cheap. It's a cheap product, and if it works, then great. But I'm enjoying it so far. Can't wait to use it more. Thanks for watching this unboxing and review. Hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more like it. Check out the video to my left to see our last unboxing or our previous vlogs. We'll see you guys in the next video.